we're now here with Mohamed, one of the students, participants of this year's St. Gallen Symposium. Um, Mohamed, why is it so important to talk about just power in these times? Well, it's, it, power is evolving very quickly. It's evolving sometimes faster than most people, including current leaders, realize. Um, the notions of justice, the notions of power, who owns power? Is it a top-down? Is it becoming a bottom-up question? It's, there are so many new notions that it's very important that people from different perspectives, different backgrounds, different ideas uh, get together and, and, and talk it out. Um, we may or may not agree, but we definitely will learn a lot from each other. That's why it's really important. That's why the topic is very, very interesting this year. So you are an Egyptian, Egyptian and you will have a one-to-one -one with the cousin of the Syrian president. What do you expect from this discussion? Well, it's, I'm, I'm looking forward to it um, because uh, I mean, Egypt has just gone through, through fairly major events, as you, as you have followed, a um, revolution that has effectively toppled the president. Syria is, is also on its way there. Um, and it's, it becomes very interesting to see, well, you know, what do the Syrians themselves have to, have to, have to say about that? Um, are they looking for, for limited reform, as it seems that the cousin of the Syrian president is looking for? Or is it more like the people who are on the streets in Dara right now, demonstrating getting shot at, if they're looking for it to completely rebuild the system from inside? Um, so the discussion will be interesting because that man may be offering a, a perspective that is different from that on the ground. We'll see what he has to say. We'll try to challenge him, try to, you know, to, to dig in a little bit, try to get, uh, try to get interesting answers from him. And, uh, and hopefully, yeah, that's, we're looking forward to that session. Yeah. Today, in those times of social media, it's very easy to participate, or at least online participation, of, of revolutions like in, in Tunisia or in Egypt. But when, when you're just participating in an online revolution, what is then your responsibility in a normal civil society then afterwards, after the revolution has happened? Well, when you participate from, you, you talk about social media and in a revolution, yeah. Yeah. social media has, has many roles. Um, informing is one of them, sharing information is another. Um, but very often the role, that, the one that, that I got to practice during the Egyptian revolution is get information out when the information that was being channeled outside of what was the real events was false or was incomplete. Mm -hmm. So we have a duty of informing people and, and well, now that, things, now that things are done, we kind of have to see what our role as, as social media uh, users and producers and citizen journalists. Do we have a role of, for instance, of observation or are we becoming part of the, you know, the, the fourth estate, if you wish? Uh, do we have this role of overseeing how politics are happening um, or are we, in another way, a form of dissent? Are we trying to produce different ideas to disagree and to get things going in a different direction that is from that of the mainstream politics and mainstream media. So uh, it's, all, it's, it's, it's really up in the air right there, um, which makes it even more interesting and which is why everybody should be part of it. Yeah. Um, in the upcoming two days, you, you go, you're likely going to meet a lot of very powerful decision makers. Um, from your personal um, background, what do you think, what are your most pressing, pressing issues you would like to discuss with them? <laughs> That's a very difficult question. Um, well, it's, 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 um, well, right, let me, let me take that. I think that it's important if we're talking about decision makers today is to challenge the way this decision is made and how participatory it is. Um, I have come to believe with, with time, with, with experience, with events happening around me and to me that I'm part of, um, that, that you know, the more participatory a decision is, the more likely it is to be, to be correct. Um, and that, well, you know, talent and good ideas don't necessarily come from boardroom meetings, but they can come from completely outside. So um, we are in a world where decisions are being taken with a whole lot of input. Uh, some companies are, are good at asking users and consumers to be part of that decision process, some aren't. So it's interesting to ask those who are, well, how did you get there and what challenged you to get there? And those who haven't, kind of maybe tell them, because they are here to listen as well as, as we are, um, and maybe tell them that you know, maybe there's another way of doing business, that participants, including myself, that some of the wonderful participants out there, have great ideas. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a two-way discussion, definitely. We won't be just listening, that's for sure. All right. um, so. You will likely become, a, or you're, you're selected as a leader of tomorrow at this year's symposium. Um, how do you intend to use your power of voice going forward? Well, I mean, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from Egypt. We have a part, I believe, that we use our power of voice as citizens, where we 
to the streets. And, and it's, it's power in its rawest form. It's the power of the individual taking the street. Um, we kind of have to, if you're talking about the power of voice, then how would you like to use that end towards home? Towards other people around you, towards decision makers? If you are a decision maker, how do you use that as well? Um, so it's, 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 um, it's hard to pinpoint how it's going to do it, but the one thing, like the general principle, I guess, it has to be, you'll have to be honest, it'll have to be full information and complete information, it'll have to be participatory, and it will have to be both ways. That's, that, that's also a very important principle. You give and you take, you speak and you listen. Okay. So thank you very much, Mohamed, and um, enjoy the symposium this year. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward thank to you. it, definitely.